If I asked uh, what you had for dinner last night, would you remember? I kind of do, yeah. My next guest seems to remember almost everything she cooks and eats. Here to talk about her 10 most popular recipes from this year's our foodie queen, the one and only Stephanie Hansen, everybody, from stephaniesdish.com. Hello, my friend. Hello. Wasn't that a great story? It was a great story, and real, like, that stuff doesn't happen by no, chance. It does not happen by chance. It's like when the red cardinal comes in your yard on Christmas Day in the middle of the winter snowstorm, and you look and you're like, Mom? Yeah. Yeah. I had a butterfly show up at the premiere of Dallas one year. When they sh and it was my grandma. My grandma loved butterflies. Yeah. And she introduced me to Dallas. And I got out of the limo to go to the red carpet and the butterfly was on my shoulder. And that's not an accident. No. Anyway, let's get to um, the recipes. Not all of these appeared on the Jason show, right? No, but I, and I was kind of surprised. Like every year I do a recap of what were the best recipes. The ones that appeared are just surprising to me. Like my number one recipe that was on my website was the easy rhubarb custard bar, which is a great recipe. This is it right here. Yeah, it only is a few ingredients. And this one we did do on the show. I'm crazy about rhubarb. So that was the number one. People like sweets. Yeah. And I don't cook sweets that often. So it's harder to find them on my website. So I thought it was funny that this was the number one. I love this was good. I love yeah. this one. Okay, next, uh, chili. Instant pot beefy chili. Do you remember that day we did it? Yeah. And it had a little, it had a little pumpkin in it. So that was a good recipe. Also, uh, the bootlegger, and that's a summer drink that's like the signature drink of Minnesota. It's what limeade, was that again? limeade, vodka, mint, and you blend it all up. It's really, it's quite delicious. So that was number three. Did we have that on the show? No, we didn't. Though we've I, done a lot of drinks on the show. I know we have. That's, that's I, I asked, I was like, did we do I know, because we've done a lot. Yeah. Okay, no churn oh. ice cream. We did do this one on the show. And no salt was required for this. It's just cream and you whip it up and we put um, Oreos in it. Here it is. And Stephanie, correct me if I'm wrong, didn't you get a lot of people making this? Yes. I remember seeing on social right after you did this, a lot of people tried this. It was real easy and it's easy to do with kids. You don't need any special equipment. Or remember the old fashioned machine that you had to put the salt in? Yeah. Yeah, no, this is, and it was really delicious. Okay, and executive producer Jeff made it. Oh yeah. And it was really good. It was super good. Super good. And fun in the summer. Next, Smash Burgers. This was a segment that we did at Animales where I went and learned how to make a Smash Burger. Okay. Then I came back and actually made it in studio. You guys, I'll never make a burger another way at home again. It's just the easiest, they're delicious, they get that crispy crust on them. What's the main thing with a Smash Burger, remind people? Is to smash it down and to put salt. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you, Stephanie. No, it's to put salt down first in your pan, and then you smash on top of that, and that gives you that crispy crust, and also the grind of beef. Yeah. You so a smash burger, you want to smash. You want to yeah. smash yeah. it. Uh, next, summer salads. Okay, this I did on the show, and it kind of surprised me. The first was a grilled shrimp salad, and I just did like lots of different summer varieties. We had a tuna salad. We had, um, there was one other salad that was in there. Oh, I think it was an egg salad. You, why did, you know what? This doesn't surprise me at all. Minnesota, we love salads. And it's informed me because we're getting into like January where everyone's like, I eat so much over the holidays. I'm gonna like include more salad recipes because I just make salads all the time and I don't really like make a recipe for it. But I think people are looking for different types of salad recipes. They are, yeah. absolutely. So I'm gonna do more of that in 2023. Uh, air fryer chicken wings. Okay, I am somewhat obsessed with chicken wings and chicken wings is always high on my list every you year. You and I are, yeah. But I made them in the air fryer and it was the first time I'd made them in an air fryer. And this was a segment we did during coronavirus at home. Yeah. And it, they were so crispy and so good. And I've done like in the oven chicken wings. I'm always trying to get them to taste like the restaurant without frying them because I, I don't want to fry. No. So this recipe really works great in an air fryer. I also have one on my site that's in an oven that works really great too, where you dip them into the sauce and then you fry them and, or not fry them, you put them in the oven and then you flip them. 
yes. and get the other side all crispy and that's a good one too. Yeah, I did your air fryer recipe and that was, yeah, you know, was I love good. chicken wings. Uh, instant pot chicken and wild rice soup. Okay, I just did this you one. You just did this one. Yeah, yeah, this was what was left over. I did it with turkey because I used my leftover turkey. That recipe is amazing. I actually had it like three nights ago because now I'm trying to eat out of the freezer for the next month which is a whole nother story in itself. My freezer is so full. I have two. Oh, you're trying to go They're through so all They're yeah. so full, I can barely like get them closed. Yeah. I just see you like scavenging in oh, your freezer. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. I am cooking everything in the freezer before I we get to summer. Thanksgiving sides, another one. Yeah, that was, I think, the Faro apricot salad. Again, another salad that people liked that had arugula. It was the cover picture, so I think yeah. people liked that. Also, the Instant Pot mashed potatoes were in there. I just made those again for Christmas. They always work. They sat in the Instant Pot hot, ready to go for six hours before my dinner. Which is amazing. Yeah, it was great. Because usually that's the first thing to get cold. Yep. Creamy cucumber salads, last one. That's the last one. Who knew, like Minnesotans, Scandinavians, they love those creamy cucumber salads. Yeah. yeah. We should just do a whole salad series in the summer. Yeah, we're going to do a lot more salad because yeah. everybody likes salads and apparently don't have recipes for them or think about how to make them just so we're going to do more salads. Think about how busy the Cub Deli is every time I'm there in the snow. I'm saying in oh, the true. summer. It is so, it's because, yeah. I got a lot of good chicken salads, you got tomato it, yeah. salads. I got salads. We're going salad crazy in 2023. Yes. yes. All the recipes Stephanie talked about today are uh, available on our website right there, stephaniesdish.com. We're going into the audience to let you ask Stephanie some food questions when we come back. Back in a moment. <laughs> and you're coming with. So many salads. Yeah. Doesn't surprise me a bit. I think we're too old like to I know. <laughs> Did we we match today? We, we're I like know. we're like the Patty Duke show. Anyway, <laughs> um, everywhere Stephanie Hansen goes, she gets questions about cooking or dining out. So we decided, you know, this audience is great. Let's let them borrow Stephanie for a little while. It's time for Ask Stephanie. Okay. Steph, you stay right there. Where's Sarah and Kathy? Right here. Hi, guys. What's your question Hi. for... Go ahead and stand up. What's your question for Stephanie? We were actually hoping you could sign oh, our cookbook for us. Oh, look at that. I just so happened to carry pens around. Where did you whip that Sharpie out of? My back pocket. Thank you for coming on the Jason Show. I mean, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Sit down. <laughs> That's funny. I wrote a book too. I just, no, I didn't. Okay, where's Jennifer? Jennifer, stay. Hi, Get Jennifer. it up for Jennifer, everyone. What's your question for Steph? So on the weekly dish, you posted a bougie eggnog, and I made it, and then we forgot to drink it. How long does that keep? <laughs> Um, because it's got the raw eggs. Yeah, is it in your refrigerator the whole it time? It has been in the whole time. For how long? Um, probably three days. I think I probably wouldn't. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry oh. to say that. I just probably wouldn't. Because of the egg. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jennifer. Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Boozy eggnog is a good recipe it too, is. but it's very boozy. Where's uh yes. where's Lynn? Right oh Lynn! Lynn, Lynn what's your question for Stephanie? Dirty bear. I'm a high school culinary foods teacher. Oh. <laughs> Love it. That's awesome. What recipe would you suggest making with high school students? That's a good question. I love it. Okay. Cause you, do you have an oven? I have six ovens that were donated. I think that every person needs to know how to make two things. An omelet, because you can eat it for everything, or roast chicken. Oh. Because oh. no one knows how to roast a just plain chicken. You don't have to buy a rotisserie chicken at the store. How to cut it, how to use the scraps. Because you can That's get like four idea. meals out of a roast chicken. Yes. That's a great oh. idea. Okay. Lynn, would you... Would you introduce th this young man's from Alaska, for heaven's sake? Oh, cute. yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I love you, but why are you here? For yeah. this one over here. That one right yeah. there. I he love came it. College sweetheart. College sweetheart. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. 
Well, welcome. Thank I'm you. glad you're here. No, oh, that's fantastic. Where's Mary? Did, wait, did they get engaged yet? No. <laughs> Mom's like, I'm waiting. I mean, I mean, TikTok, tens of <laughs> Just saying. That's it. Sorry. No, no, but it, but if no you want to right here, we have four minutes. I'm good. I'm good. I know. I know. It's all right. You can borrow Hanson's ring. Okay, here we go. Where's Mary? Mary, hi, hi Mary. Hi, how are you? You're beautiful. You? Mary What's your and I question? Have matching glasses. Look how Mary, Mary Mary's all stylish. Holly House. Oh. oh, yes, we did. <laughs> okay, I was thinking you looked familiar. Okay, Hanson, a little bit later. Your question? In the land of all the appliances, which one do you think you need the most? You all have good questions. Okay, for sure the answer, land of all the appliances, I have two. The first one is like a Cuisinart. Because okay. you just need it for chopping, you need it for efficiency, you can make dough in it, pizza. Like, that is an appliance I've had for 20 years that I'll never give up. But the second is the Instant Pot. Because it's the Instant Pot, it's a slow cooker, you can saute things right in there, you can make things in your dorm room. It's an amazing gadget that I did not think I needed, and once I got it, I've never gone back. Thank there you. There we go. Thank you. Can I add one? Yes. Yeah. I will say the air fryer. Oh. I, I rarely turn my oven on. I reheat everything in the air fryer. Yeah, and if you're like a frozen food person or you like to reheat. <laughs> I have, it's just a convection oven. I That's have it. one of those. Be sure to visit Stephanie's website. <laughs> and if, if, you're, if, and you're, if you're a frozen, frozen food, food person. person <laughs> Stephanie's dish.com. We'll be right back. Oh. Back in a moment. <laughs>